In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, the customer is always right. Now, this might seem like a funny sentence to you. It's something that businesses say in Canada because they want to make sure that they are doing a good job when they run a business. But how can the customer always be right? Don't customers sometimes complain when they shouldn't complain? Well, let me put it this way. If you were someone who was running a McDonald's restaurant, if someone came up and said, this hamburger doesn't taste good, it's actually better for you to give them a free hamburger than it is to argue with them. Because business is really about making the customer happy. It's not about the thing you are selling them in that moment. So when you say the customer is always right, what it means is that if you take care of your customers, they'll come back and buy more things from you over and over again. But if you make them feel um, unappreciated, they'll never come back again. The second phrase I wanted to teach you is another business related phrase and it's this, honesty is the best policy. So I know in the world of business, there are people who lie, cheat and steal in order to sell things to make money. There are people that will tell untruths in order to have a more successful business. But I firmly believe that honesty is the best policy. When Jen and I run our flower farm in the summer and when we sell flowers to people, if they say, how long will these flowers last? We usually say three or four days if we know those flowers will last three or four days. We'll say a week and a half if we know those flowers last a week and a half. We feel like honesty is the best policy when we're selling something to someone because again, that also keeps the customer happy and happy customers come back over and over again. So to review, many businesses have the policy that the customer is always right. Even sometimes when the customer is wrong, it's better to treat the customer as if they're right, especially if it doesn't cost you very much money because then everybody's happy. And if you say honesty is the best policy, it simply means that being truthful and being honest in business can actually be a really good thing for your business to do because in the long run, your business will just do better. Hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Daniel. <laughs> Daniel says, let me, know, let me know when you throw this money party, Bob. I'd love to be there. And my response was, I'll make sure you're invited, ha ha. So this was from the video where I taught the phrase to lay your cards on the table or to put your cards on the table. And I talked about, you know, someone having a party, but the real reason of ha to have the party was to give some money away. Uh, and this was actually based on a true story. A friend of mine, had an old uncle who came to visit during the summer uh, and he was from Europe, okay? So he was from far away. And he invited all of his cousins and nephews and nieces and brothers and sisters to come to what's called a family reunion. So this was an older uncle. He had never been married and he didn't have any children. And he came to Canada to visit family that he hadn't seen for a while. So my friend wasn't sure he wanted to go and he kind of hummed and hawed. When you hum and haw, it means you're trying to decide to go. And he eventually decided to go. And what happened was the uncle who came to visit from Europe brought a lot of money with him. And everyone who came to the family reunion to spend some time with him, he gave everyone a thousand dollars. So it was in my last lesson, just kind of a funny thing to mention, but it was based on some truth. Uh, a friend of mine, their uncle, their old I guess rich uncle came from Europe and at the party, he gave everyone a thousand dollars. Daniel, I'm not having a party like that <laughs> probably at any point in my life, but it certainly makes for a good story. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow with another short English lesson. Have a good day.